Hey everybody, I'm Brian with Fort Knox Company and is your dishwasher air gap leaking water all over your countertop? Well, don't worry, I'll show you how to fix it. It's something you can definitely do yourself and at the worst case, it's a couple dollars to replace the whole entire thing. I'll show you how to do it step by step. Let's go. So first off, I just want to explain really quick what's exactly going on with your air gap for your dishwasher. There are some dishwashers nowadays that don't even need an air gap because it's not necessarily required. Um, but you know, sometimes code requires it, or maybe you just already have it set up there where the little, little cover there on top of your countertop is already there and you want to use it. So here's a little diagram explaining what's exactly going on. The dishwasher has a smaller tube that flushes out the water that goes up to this air gap, and it's usually a smaller diameter. And then that then turns the water down, and that goes down into either your garbage disposal or it goes down just directly into your sink drain. So these are the two areas where we might find the clogs. It's not too complex, but I just want to show you guys that diagram first so you understand what we're looking at. And before we dive deeper into all this, I want to let you know that there are product links for all the stuff that you might want to find down here in the description. So if you need any of these parts or pieces, you can find them down there. You can click on the link. It'll take you right to them. And if you haven't already, please hit that like button. It really helps me out. I appreciate it. So the first thing we're going to do is remove that cap. And then we're going to removing this little cover inside there, which is again, that cap that redirects the water up and then back down to go into your garbage disposal or drain. This is easy by just pushing in the two sides and it should pop right out. Once you have that cap removed, you can see inside, and this is the first area I want to show you to check for any clogs. This is where food, debris, paper, whatever it is, depending on how much you might wash or pre-wash your dishes, this is where that gunk starts to build up and it starts to create that problem where we see the water overflowing because it's not having a smooth transition up into the gap and then back down into the disposal. So this is where we want to look first to see if there's any debris. You can use something small to get all that debris out of there and then you can clear this out and this might actually fix your problem right there. But if for some reason this is clear like I see in mine, we can go to the next step. That next step is taking some type of rigid wire or cord. Here I'm going to be using like a telephone cable wire. It's like a coax cable. And the reason I'm using this is because it's stiff enough to not get bound up, but it's still flexible enough to follow the curve of the pipe all the way down and help push whatever debris is out of there. And you can usually see this by looking underneath your countertop. I'll feed it first down the small tube just to kind of see if it's blocking anything that I can't see initially. But this is not the most common place that we find the debris. And this is something that you can also usually see because a lot of the dishwasher tubes are a little bit transparent. The next place we're going to run this coax cable down is into the larger opening, which goes down and around into the garbage disposal in my case. You can see as I push this thing down and I look underneath the countertop, you can see that this tube is completely gunked up with stuff. First thing I notice when I look under the sink is that this is a clear plastic tube. It fits, but it is not the correct tube. There is a proper type of tube to use here. It's actually labeled at most of your hardware stores as a garbage disposal tube or hose. So I'll put a link for that in the bottom. Like I said, this is a very specific tube because it's a little bit more rigid and it's a lot less likely to collapse on itself. And for this reason, it also doesn't allow that food to get built up in there and it creates a nice even flow of water down and into the drain. So after a few attempts of pushing this coax cable down, I realized that this thing is just far gone and I could either now one A, remove the tube, flush it all out, actually get a pipe cleaner in there maybe and scrub it. Or what I really should do, which is what I'm going to do here, is do the right thing and just put the right type of tube there. I'm going to go to Home Depot. You can find these tubes for about 6 to $7. Um, I can order it off Amazon. It'll be delivered the same day or next day. But either way, it's just a few dollars to actually replace this tube and have a brand new start and a free flow of water. These tubes, like I said, are a little bit more rigid. They're a little bit thicker walls. So it recommends that you soak it in hot water to make it a little bit more flexible so that you can actually bend it around to get it onto the hose fittings properly. Once you've let it soak for a little bit, take it out. You can see it's a lot more flexible. Then you can push this onto the bottom fitting of your air gap and resecure that hose clamp. And then the same thing on your garbage disposal, you're going to resecure that hose clamp there. Then once you have the hose reattached, you're pretty much done. You've cleared out both lines and you have a brand new one, hopefully. And then this air gap should flow properly. Run your dishwasher on a rinse cycle, see how it works, and this should fix the problem for you. And now that you have everything back together, you should be good to go. 
Make sure that all your hose clamps are tightened properly. Make sure that there is no kinks in that hose, the new one that you put in, or if you had to reapply that hose, make sure there is no bends or hard turns into it and your water should flow properly. I would recommend running your dishwasher on like a rinse only cycle, just so you can see the water flow and uh, make sure that it's working properly, but this should fix the problem. This gets everything cleared out. And like I said, it's something you can do yourself in you know, maybe 30 minutes or less and just a couple basic tools. Worst case scenario, you had to buy a new garbage disposal hose. And like I said, it'll set you back maybe six or seven bucks and you're ready to go. So either way, I hope you found this helpful. It's something that you can definitely fix yourself. Don't worry, you don't have to call a plumber. You can self-diagnose this and replace all the pieces for just a few dollars. If you have any questions, let me know. Leave them in the comments below. I am very good at replying back to all my comments. There are product links, everything in the description if you want to find a certain piece or part. I have another hose fitting that can help you downsize or upsize any tubes that you might need for the, uh, the connections. But otherwise, hope you guys like the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next build.